Okay, once again, continuing our tutorials on uh, jQuery. Let's quickly review from last time. Uh, if you look at our code over here, we have three div tags, uh, each with their own IDs. ID of my1, my3, my2, my1 by default. Uh, the display is none, which means it's hidden, uh, which is this two lines of text here. We do see this header and this uh, paragraph here, as you can see over here. Up here in our script, in our head, we have uh, that we're loading up the jQuery script, uh, which I showed you how to download in the first tutorial. Uh, and then here we're saying find an element, uh, because it's got a dollar sign and parentheses. The element in this case would be our document. Once our document is ready, meaning it's loaded, we're going to run a function. That function is going to find an element with that's uh, a div tag with an ID. You can see the pound symbol here, meaning we're looking for an ID of the div tag. And we're going to find uh, the one with the ID of my2, which is the down here, the one that has the paragraph of click me in it. And uh, just as it says, when you click that item, it's going to run another function that does three things. It's going to... Uh, find uh, the div tag uh, with the ID of my1 and it's going to fade it from wherever it's at in this case it's it's invisible and it's going to fade it up to 50% of its brightness uh, I'm not sure if that's the correct term but it'll fade it to 50% uh, of its visibility over a three second period uh, and then it's going to find the element of uh, that has the div tag with the ID of my uh, three and it's going to fade it which is already visible it's already at a hundred percent it's going to we're not giving an exact number here we're going to say slow uh, to uh, uh, point to which is twenty percent of its visibility uh, then we're going to find the element of this which is the element that was clicked in this case case it's the div tag with the ID of my two and we're going to fade it out completely over three seconds so let's run that so as you can see, that faded away completely, this faded down, and this faded in, but only to 50%. Uh, today we're going to be looking at uh, making elements uh, slide down and back up. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, delete that div tag because I don't need it. I am going to remove it from our script here. So right now we have... Uh, Similar code as before, we just remove one of the elements. Oh, refresh that. Oh, did I save this? Let's see. There we go. Uh, one fades out, the other fades in to 50%. But instead of fading in uh, and, and fading out, I'm going to remove the fade out so our click me button stays there. And in fact, I'm going to move it. So I'm just going to cut it and paste it up here so it's on top. Uh, still have it so it's fading in the one thing. We remove where it fades out. And instead of uh, uh, fading to, we're going to change this to, say, slide down. Uh, once again, uh, I'm going to just remove the options from within this function here. So now, we start off, we have click me, which is our element inside our div tag here and we have set when we click that that it's going to find the other element and slide it down uh, and it's not gonna be that impressive right now but we'll do that and you can see kinda display things sliding down if we give a background color to our uh, div tag here using CSS uh, it will make it a little bit more visible so what we're gonna do is we're gonna say uh, semicolon here to say that we're working with a new little option for the CSS here we're gonna say back background dash color colon and then you can give it uh, a lot of different options here I'm going to say light blue uh, and that will just give it a light blue color it's gonna be really ugly uh, but <laughs> we're gonna work with it here uh, so there you go you can see that it slides down it's kind of rough because it slides down more than needed uh, and that's options you can change in the CSS I'm not going to get uh, into that to really at all in this tutorial um, but just so you get the basic idea I click this it slides down so how do we make it slide back up well we're gonna add in another function here uh, so after this function we're going to say dollar sign parentheses so we're looking for another element in this case we're gonna say the uh, element that is a div tag with an ID the pound symbol meaning ID 
of my one, which is our object that's uh, our element that's sliding down. And I'm going to say dot click. So when that is clicked, uh, then we're going to uh, run a function. And what is this function going to do? Well, this function is dollar sign parentheses, looking at an element again. We're just going to type this, no quotations here, uh, which means the element that was clicked. So it's saying itself. When my one div tag is clicked, then we're going to affect uh, my div tag one, div tag with my one. We're going to say slide up and give it the semi or the parentheses there and a semicolon. Now, when I click, click me, did I refresh this? Oh, uh, got to put our, close our little function there with a parentheses and a semicolon. Now refresh over here, click here, it slides down. Click that again, does nothing because it's already slid down. But if we click anywhere inside this blue box, it slides back up. Once again, it's kind of rough because it does the padding thing. Uh, and that's something you would change with CSS that we'll look into more. But I just want to give you the basic ID. Also, this is uh, just one way of doing this. There's actually a toggle option, which we're going to be looking at in the next tutorial, to where if you click, click me, it will slide it down. If you click, click me again, and it's already down, it will slide up all in one command rather than making different functions for each thing and having to click somewhere else. Because normally, you know, you would have something that says click here to drop down. It would be a drop down menu. So, um, but that's the basics of this. Um, I hope you're enjoying these tutorials. Uh, please check out filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K for uh, more information. Uh, and uh, also, I hope you're enjoying these tutorials. If you are, uh, like them, uh, subscribe so you don't miss any. Uh, and just let me know what you think. Once again, we're working towards not only doing web applications here, but we're going to be working with jQuery Mobile, which is another group of uh, JavaScripts built on top of uh, jQuery to make web pages act like mobile applications for mobile devices. So you can write something in a web browser that looks and feels like an Apple actual application running on your phone or tablet, or and it will also run on desktop environments as well. It's just more geared towards, although there are parts of it that make it compatible with both. Anyway, uh, I thank you for watching. Visit filmsbychris.com. Be sure to check out this entire playlist. Uh, if you're jumping in here, you might be a little confused. Hopefully there's an annotation or a link in the description to the entire playlist. I thank you for watching, and I hope that you have a great day.